to now. Just saying. One and three quarters horsepower. Nelson Brothers. This one was a. Uh, Uh, the McLeod, Winnipeg, Canada. So, and, and, and on, on this uh, Magneto, that's as as was as is. You know, I just connected a lead out wire on it right there, and this little this little uh, it's a little twelve volt. LED bulb with a couple of clips on it there and the red one goes up there on here on that fan stock clip in this case and then you ground the other one which for a smaller engine Okay, I, I think I got it looking at you. Uh, I want to, I might should turn down a lamp, but just a grounded circuit there. Any spark that would come out of this magneto would trigger that little LED. So, Oh yeah, we, we had a spark right there. That's a Webster M size. It, it, it don't have hardly no magnetism on it at all. You know, just have fun with them. You know, it's what I've did the last few days. This melts some brothers engine. You know, it's ready to start. I just have not put any fuel in it yet. I've already got it greased up. Oiler had a leak in the bottom there. I'll put a little sealer on that tomorrow. Get some weaker springs to go here. 
Everything's adjusted. Little Nelson brother, the Mac Lord, they say. And we be getting this engine here off the bench in a couple of days. Got some spark on that magneto there. I uh, have to get some weaker springs to go here. So, made a couple of adjusters uh, yesterday. But roller bearings in a cast iron wheel, you know, small, compact. got used rings in it. I just put the rings back in it that was in it. Now, if it has if it has any blow by, you know, I hold the cylinder out, clean the rings up good. And, and and the last word there, if it has any any blow by at that point, I could pull that that uh, piston out the back of the cylinder there, and put the rings on it and shove it back up in there. Put some new rings on it. Seemed like it wanted that. But other than that, well, th this, this right here, th this right here will surely be a test of how good a Webster Magneto is and survives time as well as they do. As attested by this Magneto in view that came on this engine, Appeared and by all indications has not ran in many years. So, for it to survive and not having to be up to this point, so just you know, I was going to give it a change uh, to run the engine with the amount of spark it has in there at that time. If uh, if it need, needs improving, then we'll we'll put it on a charger over there and zap it up right there. Yeah. Well, well, let's uh, uh, let's spark that magneto a couple of times with some indication that you actually can see what's happening. So well, what I've got here, uh, this is just the original stock configuration, lead out war coming over to that fan stock clip right there. And I do have a soldered end on, on my lead out war and it clipped in there tightly. And it's fairly clean, that, but, but I didn't remove it. It's as it was, I'm gonna say, from the factory. So, and we are, we've already seen the spark beforehand but I you know anytime possibility is spark you know it's time to anyways <clears throat> a couple comments to question how to do that is it's a little 12 volt LED light indicator thing this one being that so what what you do according to that they put on these mags is you put that positive one on, on, on that output up there. And then you come over here with your ground. And in, and in this case, you know, there's no need for a primer cup on the engine this size, you know, with a suction as good as this is. So, so I just elected to put a, a plug in there and... Uh, but uh, and I'll put a snap order in the other hole over there. But but to see this this line show here, right here's what we're gonna be looking at. That little green light right there. So well, you know I think that's about dark enough. You know if you can't see a spark in the that light intensity right there, yeah. So, but the test is just, it's on the engine, so you turn the engine as compared into all the mechanical movements of it to put it in a position to fire at correct time. Gears and levers. But, but anyway, you're coming around like this right here, and when the engine comes around on compression, 
we'll see a spark up here when it trips this magneto. And it is coming up on compression. Yeah, yeah, and and really, actually, if you've got a good spark, you you don't have to you don't have to be cranking on these engines, you know. Uh, if you've got a good spark, they'll run, you know. If you've got a good check valve, that is, and some good compression. But carrying on, it doesn't have some pretty decent compression. But we're coming around. Okay, you you seen you seen that spark? And heard that snap? That means that that means that igniter in there fired something. If there would have been some fuel in that cylinder, the compression is correct and all. Um, we, we would have a running engine. Uh, and it fired right, well, right at top top dead center, which is. Kind of, I prefer that a little bit. It seems like the engines are run a little bit softer, but being cautioned not to time it too much or your engine will run warm. But with that said, let's spark it again. Oh, it has suction, you hear it? So anyways, uh, the other part of the SES, uh, that's how to use a timing light on a low tension ignition system. So, huh. so we'd be good to go here now. And, 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 and as it has turned out, uh, I've ended up with two, three, complete engines just missing a few parts each and they're not exactly the same the governor mechanism latch out lever system there is made different on these two engines so i couldn't swap the parts from one engine to the other one so i've ended up with two engines that's too good to part out so well <laughs> uh, you can read, readily see there that uh, I, I have the magneto unhooked from the clip. Um, I, I've, I've turned the engine over a few times and, and I, I've not been able to get it to start on that magneto. So I'm going to hook it up on the battery and uh, low tension coil and... Uh, and we'll start the engine up. But but I have a container here, check valve on the fuel line right there. Um, and that's camp fuel in that, in that jar for a fuel tank, uh, white gas they call it. And it, it's your standard, just has a shutter on it like that. But all the parts is here. So McGloyd's got on the tag there and a uh, shop built cart, uh, cast iron wheels, roller bearing. Uh, <clears throat> the thinking being, the Magneto did have that reading of the weak, very weak magnetism. So uh, the thinking is, is to go ahead and start the engine on the, on the battery and the coil and then take it loose and see if it'll run on the Magneto of some indication of condition because uh, there, there's nothing that's you know it, it functions the way it's supposed to function so uh, other than rust you know so but but this is the it's it's finished um uh, i think all the parts is here except uh springs on the governor and that'll be seen too as the engine runs to what the tension should be, uh, which will be very light tension as to disengage the push rod there. But you know, it function, it has that thing on it right there, and has this thing on it right here, you know, pew, and uh, uh, speed and spark retard in advance and uh, 
But yeah, it has oil on it. It had a leak. I done took it apart, put a gasket in it. I think we're good to go there. But yes, it, it's got some good compression. Like that. I do have it choked up there. But I think the needle valve's closed. But yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think, I, I think, I'm, I think they, they, I'm, well, well, it does have a chigger in the, in the hopper right up here. It's got a broke place right here. It's the only thing, only thing, only defect on the whole engine, if you want to consider that a defect. I just figured it was a broke hopper, you know, move on. Uh, everything else is in really good condition. And, you know, it ain't much need, need to go to welding on that right there and riveting something on there or nothing. You know, it's just, it's the engine. It tells the story of the engine. So, and it's just a good cleanup. So, it's a Nelson, brother. A one and three quarter horsepower. Oh yeah. That's that rust that's that rust oleum paint on there. That's that uh, charcoal gray. Uh, three three coats with a brush. Just saying. You know. It, it's, it's got some pretty good compression. You know. Yeah. Original muffler. And this will be this will be hooked up to that. And and, and and it's a matter of this spring right here. Uh, I, I've got I've got a helper spring back here on that push rod back there, hit up underneath there. But but there's a spring that goes right here. Well, see right here it is. <clears throat> we'll talk about that spring for a minute. The arbor to turn this spring on is one each and some thousands. But it's only. Uh, seven, I think, coils. So this is it. This is one is broke right there. So it's it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like seven coils, but it's the it's the total length of it. <clears throat> anyway, this spring would go up in there right here and push back on that to keep that push rod pushed back for the roller to ride on the cam so that your latch out can get behind that little adjusting plate on the side of your push rod. That's the way it works. But, yeah.